children today let us learn the poem nine gold medals it is in your book page number 37 nine gold medals is written by david roth he is an american vocalist a sing um, singer and also a songwriter and here in this poem he is narrating many events and the poem is focusing on specially or uh, differently abled people so differently abled people means the people who have some or other problem in their body parts that means they are not people like normal moving people so this poem is about differently abled people let us go through the poem and let me explain after reading the stanzas the first stanza says the athletes had come from so many countries to run for the gold for the silver and bronze many weeks and months in training all building up to the games so the first stanza explain and describes about the uh, people who are going to take part in the game and this is about a special olympics game and here the athletes from many countries so many countries from different parts of the world they have come for what to run and for for the goal to run for the gold for the silver and bronze so they have come to take part in the competition races and to win gold or silver or bronze in the games they have come from different countries and what type of preparation they had before they came over there and they have prepared themselves many weeks and months in training that means a year practice they had many weeks and months in training all building up to the games so they were keeping their themselves fit for the games and they were practiced many times and they were ready to run for the gold or silver for the or for the bronze so here in the first stanza the poet describes about the preparation of the athletes who have come for the competition and in the second stanza all round the field spectators were gathered cheering on all the young women and men that the final event of the day was approaching the last race about to begin so here in the second stanza he is describing about the venue where the competition is going to take place so he is giving a good image about about the stadium or the field in which the people are going to take part in the race so all round the field that means the whole stadium was filled with gathered with spectators packed so the competition was known to the people all around the world so many countries people have come so the people who gathered there wanted to cheer up their own friends or dear ones and so they have come and gathered there so all the young women and men gathered there just to cheer up the 
people who are going to take part in the competition. Then the final event of the day was approaching. So this event which the poet is going to describe to us is the final event. What was the final event there? The last race about to begin. So the last event was race, running race. And the loudspeakers, now again the poet is describing about the preparation first he explained and in the second he explained the environment in which the uh, competition is going to take place and now about the the uh, part uh, participants who are taking part in that the loudspeakers called out the names of the runners this also shows the environment how it was full of um, uh, people and um, the good arrangement the loudspeakers everywhere it is um, uh, calling out the names and it uh, goes like anything so good atmosphere of a competition day the 100 meters the race to be run so the last event which is going to take place is 100 meters race and nine young athletes took, stood there determined so here how many participants are there in the 100 meter race nine people are there and poised for the sound of the gun so poised means in position they are in position so get set go that position they are in ready to run so just they are eagerly waiting for the sound of the gun before they start their run, they should follow the sound of the gun. So they are waiting, eagerly waiting. The signal was given. So now the signal, what was the signal they were waiting for? The sound of the gun. So the pistol exploded. The sound of the gun exploded. Pistol exploded means the gun sound exploded. So they are started and so did the runners on hearing the sound but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered and he fell on his knees to the ground so one after the other the event the poet is explaining and um, describing here so we are also prepared to uh, prepare he has prepared our imagination to that the position they were and the gun sound exploded Immediately everyone started running and the youngest among the nine, among the nine, the youngest one stumbled. He was, um, he, uh, he, his feet uh, hit something and he stumbled and staggered, lost his balance. And he fell on his knees to the ground. He had a sharp cry he shouted with a sharp cry and he fell on his knees he fell on the ground and he started crying he gave out a cry of frustration and anguish so when he fell he started sh shouting with a feeling of annoyance irritated he got irritated he got annoyance why he has prepared himself for the competition. He was um, um, aiming to get some or other medals and all his aspiration, all his wishes are spoiled. His dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt. All his dreams are broken. So he was so annoyed and he was in distress and deep pain in his heart because of his fall. But as sure as I am standing here telling this story, now it is a strange one. So here the poet is continuing the story. He says that the story, as we all think that once the mm, runner, any mm, athlete falls and the other will run past and uh, try to win the race. But here something happened which was not expected by anyone so what happened there 
the eight other athletes stop in their tracks so when they heard the cry of the companion so what they did the other eight athletes they stopped on their track and they turned the ones who had trained for so long to compete everyone trained themselves to compete and win some or other medals so they prepared their mind to win but what they did they put everything aside and they just stopped on the track one by one they turned round and came back to help him not only they stopped they turned back and came towards the um lad that means the boy who fell on the ground and lifted the lad to his feet as he was on his knees he fell on his knees they supported him and helped him helped him to stand on his feet then all nine runners joined hands and continued not none of them think of their own medals all of them stopped turned came close to that boy and lifted him up and then and then what did they do all nine runners joined together they all of them joined their hands together and they started walking towards the end point so the 100 meters reduced to walk now the race the quick running race turned into walk so they it is reduced to walk and the banner above that said special olympics could not have been nearer the mark so they have kept that um, special olympics because it is for uh, differently abled people it is not the common olympic it is a special olympics that banner was put so in the end point they could that could not have been nearer the mark so that is one not the special olympic is not only pointing out that that was for the differently able people this is entirely a special olympics so here the point in these last two stanzas that's how the race ended with nine gold medals so this um, these two stanzas when the boy the, the runner fell on his knees how the other companions turned so here the whole poem focusing on not only the race what the poet wants to focus here that you should understand a human values of cooperation how other eight athletes cooperated with them and real compassion not only compassion empathy empathy is not simply sympathy sympathy is just to Uh, express our feeling that towards someone who are suffering but empathy is taking part with the difficulties of someone who is going through so here the difficulties of that runner he could not reach the point and he was so annoyed and he was so depressed and he was in his deep pain understanding that that and concern towards that boy they all came and took the his pain with them also that is called empathy not only they have just to show their uh, this boy who were fellow he has fallen and he could not reach not that the here the poet says that at present condition of the nations is not sympathy empathy is needed so here the poet is focusing that that's how the race ended so the race ended with nine gold medals each one who took part in the competition received a medal they came to the finish line holding hands still and the banner above and nine smiling faces said more than these words ever will said more than these words ever will why the poet has repeated these two lines to say that this poem these lines and these special olympics tells us that it is needed at present we are in need of compassion and care concern cooperation that and 
future in the world needs is more not more competitions competitions are not needed that's what the poet wants to say here these other eight were not compete they stop their competing so so long to compete they prepare themselves but they have put all that mind of competition beside and they came forward to help him out so here the poet wants to say the world needs at present is not more competition but more cooperation and collaboration concern compassion these are very much needed so the main theme of the poem is not to give us a uh, information about something happened somewhere and the poet wants to say that how human values of cooperation and compassion and empathy and fairness and concern is needed at present so human is focusing on the human values so this is a explanation of the poem and go through the text again and again pick up the words which are used in the poem and prepare yourself for the pre board examination now the literature course is complete on the stories poems and um, merchant of venice all the part which is given in the icsc council syllabus i have completed and go through the text prepare yourself for your exam and um, hereafter i will put some extracts in the worksheet form in your group so keep watching the videos and keep doing the extract answers so that you can prepare yourself well for your examination